So morning, good afternoon and good evening to everybody. Thank you again for um, joining this week's Magnet Seminars. Um, for those who haven't um, um, uh, attended any of these seminars before, we have uh, presentations which are about 30 minutes or so in, in length. Um, we ask that you keep your microphone muted um, during the presentation so as not to disturb uh, the speaker. Uh, and if you are having any problems with your uh, connection, um, please, if you turn off your video, that can help uh, improve performance. Um, at the end of the session, um, we'll have um, a sort of 10 to 15 minute uh, question and discussion uh, uh, session. Um, you're, we'll invite you to unmute to ask your questions. But if you don't want to, to ask your uh, question in person, you can type it into the chat and uh, either myself or one of the other conveners will uh, read out the question for you. Uh, as always, uh, many of us are still uh, working from home. So if you do have to, to go, uh, by all means, um, just go. It's not a problem. Uh, and as I said, the seminars uh, are being recorded and we'll put the, the recording on our YouTube channel for people who can't attend. Uh, and at the end of the session, um, we'll have a chance for a bit of a, a catch up, a little bit of a social um, for anybody who's interested in, in hanging around for, for five or 10 minutes. And this part of the, the, the seminar isn't actually um, recorded. Uh, so today I'm really pleased to say that we have uh, Yuji Yamamoto from Kochi University. And today uh, Yamamoto-san will be talking about the Shaw period intensity method um, of being applied to age, uh, aged TRMs. So I will hand over to you, Yamamoto-san. Okay, thank you very much for uh, providing me of an uh, uh, opportunity to present our talk. Okay, I will start us screen sharing okay i hope everybody can see my screen share uh, actually today's ah uh, thank you so much <laughs> actually today's talk is the uh co-authored talk uh together with lisa talks and uh, hyun ang and uh, christine and santos and the title is uh, like that. Uh, this is a kind of companion study of the uh, age to TRM investigation by EG Terry method by Tox et al., which is recently published. And uh, using the uh, sister specimen, I apply the Tsunaka Show method. And uh, I, we are now in preparation of the manuscript and uh, almost, uh, I think almost uh, I have a uh, uh, manuscript is uh, uh, just um, uh, almost done, uh, but uh, this is still uh, before uh, submission. So, uh, it, so it would be very good if you uh, could provide uh, uh, many comments. For, for us to improve is a uh, uh, sub improve the uh, manuscript before pub uh, before submission. Uh, first of all, I would like to start with some uh, pre some backgrounds. Uh, so, so this slide is a uh, uh, example behavior of array plots uh, in response to Terry type method. Uh, uh, so you, everybody knows that the, if blocking temperature and unblocking temperature is equal, array plot is uh, linear. Uh, but uh, there is a lot of cases for violation of uh, this uh, equation. For example, if unblocking temperature is below blocking temperature, curve, uh, array plot curves. And uh, these curvature uh, can be uh, can be characterized uh, several uh, parameters, uh, but most uh, uh, most recently used index is the k parameter uh, by Greg. K is for entire interval, and k prime k prime is for selected interval. And in Santos and Talks 2019, uh, they uh, used uh, a very several uh, a variety of uh, uh, volcanic rocks, and they investigated the 
easy tele experiments in response to、uh, fresh、uh, natural limited democratization and fresh lab TRM.、Uh, top row is the、uh, array plots obtained for the NRM of uh, uh, various, uh, uh, various volcanic rocks.、Uh, so, Based on the K index, if threshold was set as 0.164,、uh, these two behavior is categorized as straight array plot. And these two types are categorized as curved plots.、Uh, after, uh, after application of the EG t e l e method on NRM,、uh, they heated. Uh, the samples in laboratory to impart fresh lab TRM. Immediately after imparting the fresh lab TRM, it means that the age zero age,、uh, they repeated the easy tele experiments and they categorized the result according to this index. And they found that the, this is straight, this,、uh, these are curved. These were, uh, these were、uh, straight and these were curved. It means that the Santos and Tokes uh, uh, concluded that the,、uh, these 20 samples、uh, could be classified as four types NRM for straight, fresh lab TRM for straight, NRM for straight,、uh, fresh lab TRM for curved, NRM for curved, and fresh lab、uh, TRM. For straight. NRM for curved and fresh lab TRM also for curved.、Uh, they, uh, they further investigated、uh, the uh, laboratory air TRM behavior on, the, on these rock, on these samples、uh, in Tokse 2021.、Uh, Firstly, specimens were、uh, prepared like that. Actually, this is the、uh, sample which were investigated in Santos and Talks 2019, which is uh, presented uh, in uh, uh, the previous slide.、Uh, for the sample,、uh, laboratory aging was done for.、Uh, Several orientation and two types of laboratory field and two years. These are the、uh, these are this is a schematic diagram showing how aging was、uh, done. So actually, the, this zero degree means that the、uh, fresh lab TRN direction and aging direction is the same. This 45 direction. Mean that the,、uh, this aging laboratory field was applied for 45 degree departure from the original fresh lab TRM for two years. And、uh, in talks at all 2021, uh, uh, they uh, applied the easy tele method for specimens with position one, three, and five. And when、uh, having a look according to the four, sam four sample type behavior, you mean that the, this type of behavior,、uh, they found that the curvatures generally increased for aged TRM, except、uh, for、ah, yes. And、uh, They、uh, key, point, key points of that paper is that the, this inclusion of curvatures are probably due to unequal blocking and unblocking temperature spectra. And this inequality grows through time. It means that、uh, this inequality grows for two years.、Uh, that's why the、uh, curvature increased for. Aged TRM、uh, compared to the fresh TRF. Fresh TRM means、uh, zero age. Aged TRM means、uh, two years age. 
So, so from this slide, uh, that this is the main topic of this uh, today's contents. So, uh, I we heard uh, uh, we we have uh, opportunity uh, to apply its Nakawa Show method, uh, which is the uh, 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 one variant of the show type method to this type of aged samples. So for 20 specimens of uh, this aged samples, uh, we apply the Tsunakawa show method. And uh, uh, and uh, obtained results were analyzed by a Python code according to uh, these steps. So as a, at this stage, uh, I skipped the uh, uh, detail express uh, detail explanation of these. So uh, probably uh, many people are not so familiar with the Tsunakawa show method. So I'd like to explain an outline of the procedure. The first three NRM was uh, subjected to, to low temperature demagnetization. After LTD, stepwise AFD and measurement were uh, repeated. After completion of the progress, uh, progressive uh, AFD demagnetization of NRM, uh, then uh, we import laboratory ARM to the samples. So when importing ARM, applied field uh, direction is uh, in parallel to NRM direction, and same cycles are repeated. After that, we heated samples at uh, above curing temperature to impart full TRM. So in many cases, the uh, magnetite is the highest curing temperature. Uh, so we usually set the uh, maximum te heating temperature at 610. So after by this heating, uh, first laboratory TRM uh, can be achieved. We call this as TRM1. The same cycle is repeated. And after that, we, for, we again impart the ARM uh, by the same, uh, inten same DC field as ARM0. And also, the apply imparting direction is in parallel to the laboratory TRM direction. After completion of demaratization of ARM1, uh, the, the sample is again heated above Curie temperature and the same laboratory field, uh, but longer time. For example, if the first laboratory heating was done for 20 minutes, uh, more than 20 minutes for heating, for like 30 minutes or 40 minutes. And uh, choice of the time is based on, uh, is depending on the laboratory setting. As some laboratory can, uh, it is necessary to uh, long, long, longer uh, heating time for some laboratory setting and other laboratory setting a shorter uh, heating may be enough for imparting full TRM. After that, uh, second TRM is obtained. We call this a TRM2. Same cycle repeated, and also the ARM is again imparted. Uh, the, this a, apply imparting DC field for ARM is the same. And apply Imparting direction of ARM is in parallel to the laboratory TRM. So by doing that, we can we, we can correct uh, not only the possible thermal alteration, thermal alteration in laboratory, uh, but also the AR uh, anisotropy of uh, remanent magnetization. Uh, before uh, before uh, presenting the main results, I would like to uh, make some emphasis on uh, how how LTD is useful. So uh, this is an example diagram. 
uh, these are the uh, these are uh, from different samples. Uh, I mean, the different samples mean that the not aged samples. Uh, this is the already published uh, result in Japanese volcanic rocks. As you can see, that uh, uh, there is some reduction in NRM by LTD, and we can recognize some uh, reduction also in orthogonal vector plots. And uh, same is true for the ARM. We can, we can observe the some reduction in coercivity spectra uh, LT, after LTD and without LTD. So we think that the LTD is particularly useful to isolate a primary direction uh, from a transitional direction. Uh, these are the three examples. Uh, it's not yet published, but it's from they are from uh, Icelandic rubbers, uh, which uh, I and Maxwell Brown are jointly working on. Uh, so these uh, all of these are traditional direction because uh, uh, this this these also have plots are in uh, uh, geographic coordinates. It means that uh, this is they are they are usual uh, zyda belt plots. So in Iceland, uh, in Iceland, uh, no normal and reverse period uh, should have a very steep inclination. But you can recognize that the inclination component is very uh, low, uh, very shallow. So for these samples, LTD uh, drastically uh, demagnetize the secondary components. So they LTD help uh, to isolate uh, primary direction con in conjunction with progressive AFD. And this is an uh, another ex this is an another type of expression how LTD is useful. Uh, this diagram is from courtesy of Dr. Yoshimura. Uh, Yoshimura et al. presented the uh, parameterization result from Ethiop Ethiopian rubbers. And when we compare the uh, MRS over MS parameters versus uh, uh, LT demagnetized fraction for initial, uh, uh, for ARM before heating. So we can you can see that the coarser, I mean the uh, lesser, uh, smaller number of this index, it means that's a kind of uh, so inclusion of kind of multi-domain like components uh, is now uh, uh, samples with coarser magnetic grain uh, show tendency to large reduction in, in response to LTD. Okay, uh, let's move to the main topic. Uh, as I previously presented, the present specimens were categorized into four types, SS, SC, CS, and CC, according to the EG Terrier results. If uh, uh, keeping in mind uh, the, of these, categor uh, these categories, uh, I would like to explain the Tsunakawa show result according to the uh, classification uh, by Tox et al. 2021. This is an example from SS type specimen. Uh, this is the NRM versus corrected TRM1 plot and this is the first TRM1 versus a corrected TRM2. Uh, these diagrams were uh, these diagrams were generated from uh, these two diagrams and these two diagrams. This is the original NRM and TRM1 diagram. This is the ARM0 and ARM1 diagram. So uh, by using uh, the uh, relation between uh, ARM0 and ARM1, uh, we can we correct 
this TRM1 and can uh, collected TRM1 can be obtained. And we could find the very good linear portion. And this result in 70.8 microtesla. Uh, so this is a very close to the laboratory field, uh, which, uh, which was used for imparting fresh TRM. And, and uh, there is almost a very small curvature were observed. And this is a second heating plot uh, using ARM1 and ARM2 relation for collecting TRM2. And this is the collected TRM2. This is an example uh, result from SC type of behavior. The, uh, they are also good and we could obtain very, uh, very good, very accurate uh, parameter estimate. Curvatures were also not so large. Uh, this is a CS type result. Uh, interesting point is that uh, we recognize some curvatures. So this is T NRM versus TRM1, and this is ARM0 versus ARM1. And curvatures are very similar. So collected diagram, uh, there we can find the linear portion. And this is a linear portion can, uh, this linear portion resulted in reasonable estimate of 68.2 microtesla. For the second heating, the curvatures were not observed. Ah, and uh, for this sample, we uh, reduction of ARM0 by LTD is 7.7%. So most striking uh, example is a CC type result. So curvature, so for, for this particular uh, result, curvatures were not so large, uh, but you you can see that the reduction by LTD is uh, relatively large compared with the previous results. So we could find the linear portion, uh, which give uh, not to but uh, API estimate, absolute parentheses estimate. So uh, this, is the, this is the bar plot uh, for absolute parentheses from all specimens and uh, uh, LT demagnetized ARM0 fraction. And uh, red uh, uh, horizontal axis indicates the individual samples. So you can see that the three results were rejected, uh, which means that the result results were not satisfying the selection criteria. And this solid line indicate the laboratory field for imparting fresh TRM. This means a 7, 70, 70 microtesla. Uh, if the paleontist estimation is uh, uh, successful, uh, ideally 70.0 microtesla should be obtained. So, and uh, these different colors are for uh, stand for different categories, uh, which is defined, which was defined in talks, uh, Santos and talks 2019. So, uh, because uh, we can think that this one example is an outlier. If we exclude, if we exclude it this particular result, mean and median and standard deviations are this. These are very uh, close to the uh, actual field of 70, uh, 70 uh, microtesla. And the interesting point is that the reduction by LTD is larger for CS and CC type samples 
compare with SS and SC type samples. So uh, this, these bar plots are the curvature for NRM TRM diagram and ARM0 ARM1 diagram. These are these are uh, these are this value is uh, for example this is a curvature uh, from NRM TRM diagram. This is a curvature of ARM0 ARM1 diagram, like that. Like that. This is a curvature, entire curvature, not, not K prime, but K, entire curvature of the diagram. This is the NRM versus TRM1. This is the ARM0 versus ARM1. You can see that the uh, larger curve, there is a tendency that larger, larger curvatures are large for CS and CC type samples uh, compared with SS and SC type samples. And the uh, second interesting point is that the coverages are similar uh, between NRM TRM1 and ARM0 ARM1. This, this similarity can be uh, recognized uh, in uh, this biplot. This is the curvature for NRM TRM1 diagram, and this is the curvature in ARM0 ARM1 diagram. Uh, we can recognize the linear relationship. It means that the curvatures are observed in uh, two diagrams, particularly for CS and CC specimens. Uh, but because of the similarity of the curvature, uh, ARM correction uh, was, was work well to result in a linear uh, NRM TRM1 star diagram for obtaining a parallel intensity. And uh, firstly, uh, we expected that the LTD can, uh, LTD could eliminate the uh, curvature. Uh, but actually, is, uh, even after the LTD, we recognize curvature in NRM, TRM diagram, and ARM0, ARM1 diagram. So when compared uh, with the uh, how much uh, LT demagnetized fraction of ARM0, uh, there may be some relationship, but uh, uh, statist st statistically speaking, as uh, uh, no relationship. So uh, let's move to the comparison between uh, absolute parent intensity by the easy Terrier method and the Tanaka Show method. Uh, because uh, uh, the present, the present EG, uh, present Tsunakawashou method was applied to the sister specimens uh, of uh, the study by Tokus et al. 2021. Uh, we can compare uh, the TS uh, API by Tsunakawashou method and API by EG method uh, for for each sample. And as I previously presented, EG TDA method uh, was applied for NRM, uh, fresh laboratory TRM, and aged TRM for three different positions. So except for the NRM, uh, we, can we can make a comparison. And uh, these four diagrams are the uh, compared result. So it's difficult to, uh, so, so first of all, uh, we can say that uh, no, uh, no discernible relationship in these plots. And second point is that the uh, range, range of the AP resulted, resultant API. So for, for example, the, this first plot, uh, Vertical axis indicates the API obtained by the Tanaka Show method. So, except for that one outlier, uh, we can say that the range of the API estimate by the Tanaka Show method is between 65 and 75. 
And for easy Terry method for fresh DRM, there is also the one uh, outlier. So apart from uh, this outlier, uh, range of the API by easy Terry method is also uh, 65 and 75. It means that the Tsunaka show method and the fresh laboratory TRM uh, of by easy Terry method for easy Terry method uh, are almost equivalent quality. Uh, but uh, if having a look of the age to TRM, uh, 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 range of the API estimate is wider. For example, the position one sample, this is 63 to 83, like that. It, it means that uh, it implies that uh, aging, uh, aging, uh, uh, aging seem to result in a wider range of the API in that easy Terry method. Uh, but uh, it's not for uh, method. And this is, uh, I think this is the final uh, slide of, uh, final slide showing the interesting experimental result. Uh, we compare the LT demagnetized fraction of ARM0 in Tsunakao show method uh, versus EG curvature uh, observed in the array diagram. In, by the easy Terry method. Uh, there, are, there are five uh, plots and uh, vertical axis indicates the LT demagnetized fraction of ARM0 in the Tsunakao method. And uh, horizontal axis indicates the curvature. Uh, this is a K, not K prime. Not K prime. Ally, ally plot. <laughs> so K, curvature K uh, in the ally plot in the original TRM. Original TRM means uh, NRM. This is the fresh TRM. Fresh TRM means uh, zero aged laboratory TRM. And this aged TRM was uh, uh, two years aged TRM. So in all plots, uh, so I'd like to I'd like to summarize the talk. Uh, we apply the structural show method to 20 specimens in aged in the laboratory for two years. Uh, total 17 APIs were successfully obtained, as resulting in all, an overall average of 69.3 with a standard deviation of 2.7. An LT demagnetized fraction of ARM. Uh, are larger is a CS and CC type samples than in the SS and SC type samples. And curvatures were observed in the NRM TRM1 plots and the ARM0 ARM1 plots, even after LTD. And they were larger in the CS and CC categories than in the SS and SC categories. Uh, but the curvatures in the two plots are similar, resulting in straight uh, NRM and versus corrected TRM1 plots by ARM collection. APRs by the easy Terry method were previously obtained from sister specimens. And these APIs did not show any discernible relationship with the APIs by the TS method. And the API range, ah, the API range uh, become wider by aging in the easy Terry method, while the TS method resulted in the range almost equivalent to that by the easy Terry method on fresh TRMs in spite of the aging. And LT demagnetized fraction of ARM0 in the Tsunaka show method were larger for the sample with the larger EG curvature. So Riemann's carrier whose coercivity is mainly originated from the magnetic crystal isotropy, probably perhaps susceptible for time growth of unequality between blocking and unblocking temperature spectra, which has been suggested for a cause of the EG curvatures. Okay, uh, so mm, uh, this is the all. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you, uh, Yamamoto-san. Very, very interesting presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> there is a so big uh, round of applause for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now we are happy to take questions for Yamamoto-san. Yes, um, 
Andre has one question. You can unmute yourself. And hey. ask him. Yeah. Hi, Andre. Hey. Hi, Eugene. It was great to see you. Oh, and yes, <laughs> me, yeah. me too. <laughs> uh, I'm, I would like to uh, to ask if you did you check the the composition uh, the composition of your samples prior to the experiments because uh, if you have magnetite uh, magnetite true magnetite with pure temperature 580 and oh. the vervic transition it's one story if you have mm. titanium uh, let's say titanium magnetite mm. without the vervic transition it will be all, it will also respond to ltd but in a different way did you ah, check yes, that yes. or did you sh make sure that all your samples have e the same mm. composition ah, uh, thank you for your point uh, it's a good point that uh, and uh, actually uh, we did uh, actually i did not uh, confirm that the, all the samples are solely the magnetite uh, we need to check the composition. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Because uh, basic, basically, what would happen if you have, uh, let's say, a little bit, uh, you, you, you would need to separate the, uh, the um, contribution from uh, different grain sizes uh, uh, mm. from, uh, from that of uh, composition, obviously. Mm. Yeah. OK. Yeah, great. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you for your question and thanks to Yamamoto-san for answering the question. Is, is anybody else has, a, has a, some questions or comments? I actually, if no one else has a, a question, I have, I have uh, one. Sure, um, Greg. I mean, I guess just looking at your comparison of the Izzy and and um, the Shaw method, I guess you know the fact that you you can see a much wider spread of results in Izzy than than with the Shaw if you sort of exclude that one one outlier. I mean, that kind of implies that that the aging has um, a, a much stronger effect on on blocking temperature than it does on on coercivity. Um, you know, I don't know if you want to maybe make a, a you know, a, a comment or some thoughts on that in terms of what that might mean um, for um, for paramagnetic samples in general, actually. Mm. So well, my general impression is that the, yes, so aging impact is uh, uh, big in blocking temperature space uh, than in the quasivity space. So uh, my impression is that uh, uh, such an equality in uh, blocking and unblocking according to age uh, can be uh, efficiently uh, removed uh, a combination by LTD and AFD. So I, I have one slide. Uh, uh, these are so in talks at 2021, uh, they investigated a series of rock magnetic parameters uh, using a, a series of folk diagrams. And uh, I tried to compare uh, uh, a, a, a parameter result by the Tsunakao Show method for uh, the rock magnetic parameters. Uh, may, mainly obtained by the hysteresis measurement, uh, but uh, no discernible uh, relationships are found. These, these are the API estimates uh, versus uh, six different uh, hysteresis parameters. And this is the curvature in the NRMTR plot after LTD in the Kaushou method. Uh, versus uh, rock bank parameters. Uh, so, uh, ah, ah, but uh, this this is the uh, this NR uh, this curvature in NRMTR manifolds were uh, obtained after a post LTD remanence. So, 
I, 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 so, so it, so at the moment, there it's difficult to say anything from uh, these rock magnetic parameters. Uh, but my impression is that the combination of LTD and uh, AF demagnetization uh, is very effective uh, to eliminate the bad effect in uh, uh, time growth in uh, between blocking and unblocking. Okay, thank you. Did Greg uh, answer your question? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I also have another quick question. Um, yeah. So essentially, essentially, we've got um, three main field directions: the NRM, the uh, aged uh, aging field direction, and then the um, laboratory field direction. Um, what is what is the relationship between the NRM field direction and the TRM uh, lab TRM direction? <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> I I haven't uh, fully considered about these points. So uh, it's a good point, but uh, 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 I think this is the uh, first uh, design of the uh, whole mm -hmm. uh, study by Lisa. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you. Um. Thank you. And I think uh, uh, Shibuya san had, had a question because. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just I want to know the uh, environment of the uh, storage. I, I mean, that uh, some, not, not only the magnetic field, but uh, temperature or uh, humidity or uh, other, <laughs> other, any, anything. Uh, for the two years aging, uh, it was done in ambient temperature. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think that Lisa can uh, show the uh, photograph of the uh, aging environment. For you, this is the, in the ordinary uh, laboratory space. So there, I think there is there was no control for humidity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, just just the. Uh... D different uh, the, the 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 difference of the uh, show method show type method and the stereotype method is that the uh, show type is full TRM and the and the uh, stereotype is partial TRM and so the uh, full TRM is good for the comparison, but the problem is uh, always full TRM. We, we have to think about the uh, uh, chemical different, the chemical or changing. Uh, but in this case, that uh, all the sample is already heated yes. in the laboratory. That's a good, good point. So all the 20 yeah. specimens were stabilized for thermal heating. Should be, but still, still it, it's changing. <laughs> so it's, it's very com com complicated. But uh, so the is does it do, do we uh, apply this results to the uh, ancient rocks or the weathered rocks? That can do do you have any opinion about that? Oh. Thank you, Tiva san. This is a good point. Now, one uh, bad, bad point of a shortage of the show method, show type method is uh, 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 intense heating above Curie temperature. Uh, it sometimes or more or less change the chemical composition. Mm -hmm. So, and such a, uh, such a large uh, alteration, such a large uh, changing in chemical composition uh, cannot be compensated by the AR collection. So, so laboratory heating in the short type methods should be uh, much cons considered. Uh, we should improve that, try to suppress the laboratory alteration by heating in the short type method. This is the uh, uh one um, important point and yeah, we, we we have thought that uh, microwave heating should be an 
one choice but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's still Honda. <laughs> yeah, that, but uh, very, another point is that the full TRM is better for the parallel intensity estimate. So uh -huh. that, that uh, your results show that uh, uh, show type method is a little bit better than the stereotype method in this time. So which is that the chemically a stable uh, environment, show type method is better than the uh, mm. stereotype method. Uh, yeah. Is that uh, is this result seems reasonable for me? Reasonable for mm. me. Okay, thank you, Sibia san. So I agree with you that uh, for ideal samples, uh, teletype method should be the best. Uh, but uh, uh, for particularly for four rock samples, uh, there is more or less an ideality, and uh, one uh, one. Po one I think the one major unideality is that the magnetostatic interaction among magnetic grains in samples. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so acquisition of full TRM in laboratory uh, can mimic the natural uh, cooling uh, process. So it means that uh, uh, heating above Q temperature and cool down, uh, it mimics the natural process. So even though the, there is uh, some magnetostatic interaction among grains, uh, such interaction uh, can be reproduced by a, a, a one, one time heating in the uh, short time method. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I can uh, maybe add the information that I was in uh, in uh, Lisa's lab, and I saw the samples with my eyes, and they are <laughs> stored in a double mu metal box oh, yes, yes. Uh, tube uh, inside the lab. Regarding humidity, I'm not quite sure, but regarding temperature, the temperature is quite constant. First, because it's uh, it's inside the closed environment, and second, also the outside temperature in California doesn't change much at all. So maybe that would uh, kind of um, limit a little bit the alterations, hopefully. But uh, it's still a very interesting question. So thank you very much. Um, so we have one question in the chat uh, uh, by Elisa. Um, asking, could the LTD have reduced the range of API estimates in the easy Tellier method? <laughs> it might be possible that uh, L L so combination of LTD with the teletype method is very time consuming. <laughs> it means that, uh, so I think the <laughs> So at every heating step, LTD should be applied. <laughs> and, oh. Yes, I have done it myself, and it's a lot of time, additional time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I hope that answered Lisa's question. Um, uh, Simon, I think, do you want to unmute yourself, or I can read up the? Oh, yes. Do, do, do the results <laughs> suggest that the fragile coverture is time? Can, can be overcome using the show method. Uh, I think uh, uh, more or less <laughs> the fragile culture can be uh, overcome using the show type method. <laughs> uh, but uh, one point should be considered is a comment by Andre. Uh, LTD is uh, LTD is effective for magnetite composition, but not so effective for uh, titanium rich mag titanium magnetite composition. Yes, thank you. I, I, it could be an interesting point to to implement. Um, what Andre said as well. Um, so thank you. Um, if there are there aren't any more questions, we want to give another big round of applause for Yamamoto-san for the great presentation. Thank you very much. Yes.
Thank you and so much for everybody. <laughs> thank you. And uh, Greg uh, will have some slides to share. And then after the slides, you're welcome to stay for an informal chat that won't be recorded. So thank you all. Thank you, Yamo to Sam, for, for a really interesting talk. A lot of things to think about um, in that presentation. And I'm sure I'll be uh, dropping you an email with a few ideas and, and, and thoughts to, to chat about. Um, just before we, we draw this session to a close, uh, just a, a reminder of our schedule for, for the rest of the year. This was the, the last talk that we're going to be running in an in a EU um, Eastern Hemisphere time slot. So for the last the remainder of the year, we're going to go back to uh, a European uh, America's uh, time slot. And we have uh, four more speakers lined up to take us through uh, the end of 2021. Um, and um, we'll stop uh, in early December uh, and we'll have a break over the AGU and, uh, and the Christmas period. Um, but we're, we are um, recruit, recruiting for uh, our 2022 season. Um, and we're encouraging everybody or anybody who's interested in giving a presentation to uh, reach out to us um, and we can uh, make an arrangement for, for our next season. And in particular, we want to encourage um, uh, ECRs, early career uh, researchers to uh, participate. Uh, and also just as a, a, a reminder, um, we have our, our YouTube channel um, where all of the, the magnets recordings uh, are, are made available. Now, unfortunately today I had some technical difficulties. Um, just before the very end, my computer crashed. So we'll need to see what, uh, what we have of a recording of today's session. Hopefully we'll have uh, enough to present. So my apologies if, if, if we don't have that, um, but we'll, we'll sort something out. Um, so please um, check out our, our YouTube channel uh, for all of our, our videos. Um, and thank you everybody for, for joining Magnets.